सिद्धि विनायक नमो नम अष्ट विनायक नमो नम गणपति बापा मोरिया ओम गम गणपत नमो नम शिषेद्धि विनायक नमो नम अष्ट विनायक नमो नम गणपति बापा मोरिया ओम गम गणपत Oh. 
ಅಂಬಿಗೆ ಮಗನೇ ವಿನಾಯಕ ಅಂಬಿಗೆ ಮಗನೇ ಸೇಠಸೌ ಪಾಕಿಯುಳ್ಯಾವಿಯು ಸಾಧ ಸೇಠಸೌ ಪಾ 
சுக்கியும் யாகையும் சங்கருள் சத்குரு நீய சங்கருள் சத்குரு நீய பிரபு கணபதி Dear sisters and brothers, we offer our respectful pranams at the lotus feet of most revered Sri Swami Gautama Nanji Maharaj, Vice President of the Worldwide Ramakrishna Mutt and Ramakrishna Mission. We are very happy that revered Maharaj has blessed us on this auspicious occasion of Sri Ganesh Chaturthi. We respectfully invite Maharaj to address us. Om Sthapakaya Dharmasya Sarva Dharma Swarupine Avatara Varishthaya Ramakrishna Hayate Namaha Dear Ishta Pranamataji, I am devotees of Sri Sharda Devi Ashrama Dharma. My greetings to one and all of you on this auspicious occasion of Ganesh Chaturthi. I am happy to know that this ashrama is celebrating Ganesh Chaturthi with all devotees of the center participating in it. The celebration of such religious festivals which are socially oriented are important and necessary for various reasons. Firstly, they inculcate spiritual values among the participants and devotees. Secondly, all get an opportunity to involve themselves in the worship 
and other arrangements which gives a joy of spiritual company thirdly working unitedly for a spiritual cause induces a fellow feeling and feeling of oneness among the participants fourthly it helps in making spirituality a living force in society ganesha also known as ganapati or vinayaka is the most popular of the hindu deities worshiped by all sections of the hindus no undertaking whether sacred or secular can get started without first honoring and worshiping ganesha since he is said to be the protector against all obstacles vigneshwara he is depicted as having a human body and an elephant's head out of the two tusks one is broken that one which is the whole stands for the supreme brahman the one without a second the broken tusk which is imperfect stands for the manifest world which appears to be imperfect because of its inherent differences however the manifest universe and the unpan manifest brahman are both attributes of the same brahman the absolute god the bent trunk is a representation of omkara or pranava which being the symbol of brahman he is declaring as it were that lord ganesha he is brahman himself his large belly indicates that all the created worlds are contained in him let us all receive the blessings of lord ganesha on this auspicious day i convey my blessings and best wishes to one and all may the blessings of sri ram krishna the holy mother and swami vivekananda be ever upon all of you jai ram krishna om shanti 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 pehla samaru ganapati deva pehla samaru ganapati deva vidhan de jo mara ka pire rama vidhan de jo mara ಪಂಚಮ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರ ಹೇ 
ಪೂನಿತ ಪಂಚಮ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರನೆ ಮಾನವ ಪದವಿ ಆಪಿರೆ ರಮ ಮಾನವ ಪದವಿ ಆಪಿರೆ ರಮ ಪಹಲ ಸಮರು ಗಣಪತಿ ಪಹಲ ಸಮರು ಗಣಪತಿ ಜೋ ಮಾರಕ ಪಿರೆ ರಾಮ ವಿಹನ ಜೋ ಮಾರಕ ಪಿರೆ ರಾಮ ಪಹಲ ಸಮರು ಗಣಪತಿ ದೇವ ಪಹಲ ಸಮರು ಗಣಪತಿ ದೇವ ಪೂನಿತ ಪಂಚಮ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರನೆ ಪೂನಿತ ಪಂಚಮ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರನೆ ಮಾನವ ಪದವಿ ಆಪಿರೆ ರಾಮ ಮಾನವ ಪದವಿ ಆಪಿರೆ ರಾಮ ಪಹಲ ಸಮರು ಗಣಪತಿ ದೇವ ಪಹಲ ಸಮರು ಗಣಪತಿ ದೇವ ಪಹಲ ಸಮರು ಗಣಪತಿ ದೇವ ಪಹಲ ಸಮರು ಗಣಪತಿ ದೇವ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಕೀ ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣಪತಿ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಕೀ ಜೈ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ನಾರಾಯಣಾಯ ಡಿಯರ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬ್ರದರ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ಫುಲ್ ಟು ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ರಿವಿಯರ್ಡ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಫಾರ್ ಶೌರಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ಫಿನಿಟ್ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಅಸ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜಸ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿಸ್ಡಮ್ give us peace and fill us with inner strength in spite of maharaj's busy schedule maharaj never fails to bestow his grace upon us thank you maharaj for the loving support and blessings that we receive vishwadara vinayaga om vishwadara vinayaga om vishwadara vinayaga om vishwadara vinayaga 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 ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶ ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶ ಸುರಮುನಿ ಬಂಧಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶ ಸುರಮುನಿ ಬಂಧಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶ ವಿಶ್ವಾಧಾರ ವಿನಾಯಕ ಓಂ ವಿಶ್ವಾಧಾರ ವಿನಾಯಕ ಓಂ ವಿಶ್ವಾಧಾರ ವಿನಾಯಕ ಓಂ ವಿಶ್ವಾಧಾರ ವಿನಾಯಕ 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 ಓಂ ವಿಶ್ವಾಧಾರ ವಿನಾಯಕ ಓಂ ವಿಶ್ವಾಧಾರ ವಿನಾಯಕ ಸೇ 
विनायक भव भय नाष्टा से विनायक भव भय नाष्टा सुर मुनि वंदित श्री गणेशा 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 विश्वादारा विनायगा ओम विश्वादारा विनायगा ओम श्रीराम कृष्ण भगवान की जय श्री गणपति भगवान की जय प्रभराज का इष्ट प्राणमाथ जी 
dear brothers and sisters and loving children. We extend a warm and loving welcome to each and every one of you to today's satsang on the auspicious occasion of Ganesh Chaturthi. Now our speaker for this evening is Advocate Navila Samaru. Advocate Samaru is the Director of Public Prosecutions for the Free State and she holds a BA, LLB and LLM and is at present pursuing her studies for her LLD. Advocate Samaru is also the coordinator of the Swami Vivekananda Study Circle in Bloemfontein and she will address us today on the topic, Lord Ganesha is our protector. Om, victory to Lord Ganesha, the Lord of the Gunners, who is all compassionate, remover of all our obstacles. O oh Lord, we take refuge in thee. Please accept our salutations at your feet. Om Namo Narayanaya, Vivyad Pravrajika Ishta Prana Mataji, dear sisters, brothers, and loving children. Today, Hindus throughout the world celebrate the glorious festival of Sri Ganesh Chaturthi. This auspicious celebration is on the fourth day of the bright fortnight during August or September. Sri Ganesh Chaturthi is one of the most popular Hindu festivals. The unique form of Lord Ganesha explains that there is nothing that God cannot do. Unquestionably, Lord Ganesha is the most beloved, charming, cutest and adorable of all Hindu deities. Being almighty, he uses his glorious powers to remove our obstacles. He is also recognized as the protector, the god of knowledge, wisdom, success and prosperity. Without the grace of Lord Ganesha, nothing whatsoever can be accomplished or achieved in life. No action can be undertaken without his support, grace or blessings. The history and worship of Lord Ganesha is found in our ancient Hindu scriptures. The Rig Veda begins with the invocation to Lord Ganesha known as Ganapati. He is depicted as the chief of all divine beings, the Ganas and the Supreme Seer. In addition, the Yajur Veda states, Salutations to you, the Lord of the Ganas. Moreover, there are many references in the great epics such as the Mahabharata and the Ramayana which reveal that the worship of Lord Ganesha goes back millennia. Lord Ganesha is often described in the form of Omkara or Om. The outward shape of Ganesha's body resembles the sacred syllable Om, which signifies the Bija Mantra. Omkara is a sacred sound and a spiritual symbol in Hinduism that signifies the essence of the ultimate reality, consciousness, or Brahman. Om represents God with form and God without form. Lord Ganesha is the formless divinity or absolute Brahman. He is encapsulated in a magnificent and most beautiful form for the benefit of the devotee. He is the supreme consciousness that pervades and brings order in this universe. Sri Adi Shankaracharya beautifully said of Lord Ganesha that he is unborn, attributeless, formless and is omnipresent. Lord Ganesha is also a constant reminder that our true nature is divine. The universe is a cosmic machine. The various deities in Hinduism can be equated to administrators of this machine. Each deity represents some aspect of life. Lord Ganesha is predominantly known as the remover of obstacles. As a result, he is worshipped 
before any major endeavor or undertaking, be it a business endeavor, the commencement of schooling, marriage, studying, etc. However, most importantly, Lord Ganesha is said to remove the obstacles associated with the soul's spiritual journey. Therefore, spiritual seekers all over the world worship him. Lord Ganesha has an elephant's head. This symbolizes wisdom and intelligence. An elephant has a very good memory and never forgets. We should remember that we are divine by nature. We have forgotten our true divine nature. Swami Vivekananda says, The cause of all the pain and misery that we see in this world is ignorance. Ignorance of our divine nature leads to unhappiness. Therefore, regular prayer is important. We have to remind ourselves that we are not the body and the mind, but the Atman. Swami Vivekananda said, Lord Ganesha's huge elephant head conveys to us the habit of being broad-minded and positive. Wisdom is achieved when our thoughts are controlled, when we go to greater spiritual heights and constantly motivate ourselves to do and be bigger and better. Lord Ganesha also symbolizes discrimination. Swamiji said, He who has discrimination, whose mind is always pure and able to understand truth, he receives that truth, attaining which there is no rebirth. Even though Ganesh Chaturthi is celebrated as the birthday of Lord Ganesha, in reality, Lord Ganesha has neither birth nor death. He has neither beginning nor end. People worship him every day, especially toward of difficulties. The worship of the Lord leads to self-purification as he removes the obstacles of ignorance, delusion, attachments and egoism from his devotees. The real obstacles and hindrances are those that confuse our minds and prevent us from perceiving our divine nature. Living in today's uncertain and crime-ridden society, it is easy to fall into despair and anxiety. Concern over the welfare and well-being of our loved ones, property, and livelihood are certainly taking their toll on everyone. Fear is the most difficult and daunting impediment. Lord Ganesha frees us from fear and also strengthens our determination and courage. Lord Ganesha is the primordial force of righteousness and goodness in this world. His upright raised hand the stars, blessings and protection. It means, fear not, I am always with you. He is the great guide and protector, no matter how difficult the situation. When Goddess Parvati created Lord Ganesh and requested him to guard the entrance of her abode, she bestowed upon him the designation of Keeper of the Thresholds. As a result, up to this very day, his presence adorns and protects the entrances of homes, schools, temples and offices. Many people place Lord Ganesha in their cars for protection. He also guards the doors of our perception when we pray to him for guidance. We have a precious gem within us call the Atman, but we seldom talk about the subtle aspects of the human body. The ultimate goal of life is to have knowledge or wisdom about the Atman. The Atman is the same as the supreme reality called God. 
when Lord Ganesha removes all the obstacles from our minds, and when our minds become our best friend, then we experience great joy in meditation, reading the scriptures, doing good. These activities give us absolute peace and contentment. Lord Ganesha removes negative qualities like lust, anger, greed, hatred, and jealousy. The power of prayer enables us to overcome our obstacles easily. The chanting of Om fills us with peace, gives us energy, and empowers us to face our difficulties bravely. There is an interesting story of how Sri Ganeshji saved the world from destruction. Once Ravana, the king of Lanka, thought that he must be the most powerful king. He reflected, I must not only be invincible, but I must also be immortal. The only way to attain immortality is by obtaining the Atma Linga, the soul of Lord Shiva. Since the Atma Linga belonged to Lord Shiva, Ravana worshipped Lord Shiva with great devotion. Pleased with his prayers, Lord Shiva granted him a boon. Ravana said, All I want is the Atma Linga. Lord Shiva agreed, Yes, my son, take it. But remember, don't place it on the ground until you reach Lanka. If the Atma Linga is placed on the ground, you will never be able to pick it up again. Ravana was overjoyed. Nothing is impossible for the Lord to achieve. Carrying the Linga very carefully, he proudly began his return journey to Lanka. Narada, who came to know of this incident, realized that if Ravana succeeded in taking the Atma Linga to Lanka, he might become immortal and create havoc on earth. Narada requested Lord Ganesha to do something to prevent the Atma Linga from reaching Lanka. Lord Ganesha knew that Ravana performed his evening rituals without fail, so he cleverly planned what he would do. Soon the sun was about to set. Ravana had to perform his evening worship, but was worried about the Atma Linga. He knew that he could not put it down, but then how would he perform his rituals? Just then, Lord Ganesha, in the guise of a Brahmin boy, approached him. Ravana requested him to please hold the Atma Linga until he performed his rituals and asked him not to place it on the ground. Ganesha said that he will call Ravana thrice and if Ravana did not return within that time, he would place the Atma Linga on the ground. Soon Ganesha began to call for Ravana as he was unable to carry the heavy Atma Linga. When Ravana returned, Ganesha had already placed the Atma Linga on the ground and had left. It was already too late for Ravana to do anything. He was unable to get his wishes since the Linga was already on the ground and he could not pick it up again. This is now a place of pilgrimage in the south of India known as Gokarna. Thus we see how Lord Ganesha protects the world. Those who ignore God, who are proud and arrogant, do not win God's favor. God is very compassionate, but we must call on him to guide us. Shishada Devi says, one has to suffer the consequences of one's deeds. But by repeating the holy name of God, one can lessen its intensity. If you were destined to have a deep wound, you will get by with a pinprick at least. The effect of karma can be counteracted to a great extent by japa, meditation and austerities. Vigneshwar, which means Lord of Obstacles, is another name for Sri Ganesha. As Vigneshwara, 
Lord Ganesha removes our obstacles and grants us wisdom. Lord Vivekananda reminds us that each soul is potentially divine, meaning we all have the ability, the wisdom, the intelligence, and ultimately the divinity in us. Lord Ganesha's vehicle is a little mouse, which is always seated near his feet. It is always restless and cannot sit still. But Sri Ganesha has absolute control over it. Similarly, our minds are restless and have to be controlled in order to achieve our goals. Our ego or undisciplined mind leads us astray. When we control this agitated, impatient mind, we have true knowledge and can try to awaken the divinity in us. And then we say, O oh Lord, you are the master and I am your servant or oh devotee. A helpful way of meditating is to look at the picture of Sri Ganesha and admire his beauty and strength. Think about his intelligence, wisdom and knowledge. We must pray that he blesses us with these divine qualities and grants us devotion. Through the gaze of Lord Ganesha, may our faith in God increase and may we make steady progress in life. Om Namo Narayanaya.
श्रीराम कृष्ण भगवान की गणपति भगवान की जय गणेश जय गणेश जय गणेश We thank Advocate Samaru for her most interesting talk. It is also said that the chanting, singing and remembrance of God's name and his exploits are the surest path to happiness. So to all devotees, do have a blessed Ganesh Chaturthi. Om Namo Narayanaya. Om Jai Jagadish Hare Swami Jai Jagadish Hare Kavina Shri Manaka So
सुख संपति घर आवे सुख संपति घर आवे कष्ट मीठे तनता ओ जय जगदीश हरे मात पिता तुम मेरे शरण गो के सती स्वामी शरण गो के सती तुम बिना
Dear sisters and brothers, on this very sacred night, we pray to Lord Ganesha to shower auspiciousness on all and increase our faith in him. A verse from the Sri Ganesha Pancharatnam says, I meditate eternally on him, the Lord of the Ganas, who is frightening to those who are not devoted, who shines like the morning sun to whom all the gods and demons bow, who removes the great distress of his devotees and who is the best among the best. Let us make a habit of praying every morning and evening to receive the Lord's grace. May Lord Ganesha remove the cloud of ignorance so that we can feel his presence in our hearts eternally. O Lord, we have none else but thee to call our own. You are our father and mother. You are our trusted friend and companion. Please save and protect us. We take refuge at thy lotus feet. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Yeah. 